Hey guys, it's James and Carla, and today Hello. we're doing a, our first top app in this format. Yes. And what is it? What are we doing? We are going to be talking about an app that I think a lot of people know about already, but I think it's worth talking about. Mm -hmm. It's called... Facetune. It's a bit of a controversial app, actually. Facetune, I'm already imagining something to do with your face. Yes. Um, Got basically, it. Basically, basic. Basically, what you can do with this one is you can modify what you look like. And mm -hmm. I just don't mean get rid of a pimple here and there. You can make your waist smaller, your thighs. So it's not just your face. It's your whole body. It's like your a full whole body. So it's, and like, it's like having Photoshop on your phone. Yeah, in but a, in, an app. in a very easy. Format. Is it free? Um, the, it's free. A lot of the um, main features, but there are additional features that you probably want. If you really want to go further, yeah, the, okay. uh, then you have to pay for that. But okay. the main features are fine. So we shall edit James. Sure. Now let's get a photo of you standing, hopefully not with lines, because when you edit yourself, the lines go like that. And that's a big no-no on editing tips. Okay, so let's just take a photo of you like this. Okay. Okay, we got the photo. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you instead. So this is your face and... A handsome fellow, I think. Debatable. Wow. Um, <laughs> So, for example, since you, your teeth isn't out, we don't have to whiten that. But we'll say smooth. We want to smooth out the Wi-Fi sign on your forehead. Your Wait, you're already fingers. doing it? Yeah, and it's very subtle. Look, oh. you can't really tell, right? But before, after. Before, okay, I see. After. I see the change. Right. And then this is what I mean about how like you can make it smoother, but you have to pay extra. Mm -hmm. Oh, where it says try. Yeah, and conceal also. As you know, I need my my ladies' makeup. Yeah, there. See, could conceal your eye bags. What your... eye bags? No oh, friends. <laughs> That's actually. But that really... just gets rid of the depth in your face. Don't do that too much. Um, there's Tips? also matte. Let's say your forehead's too shiny. You could just matte it up. Your forehead actually isn't shiny. Maybe your nose. I Maybe have an oily nose. face. And then um, yeah, so it has a lot of features, and it really. It's just it smoothens out your face without it really, it's really being so obvious. It's really yeah, subtle, right? Which is, I wonder how many people are using it and you just yeah. don't know. Yeah, exactly. Don't go on my Instagram. Anyway, you go and then there's this option called face. Look how scary this is. You could fake a smile. Whoa. Very subtle. Whoa. You can't tell either, right? That's Go to the extreme. What is the extreme? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> That's so creepy. Okay, we'll keep it halfway. You could also... You're making me feel things that I'm not feeling. <laughs> exactly. You could even make your jaw smaller or your jaw bigger. That's... Do you want to look thicker or skinnier? Make a choice. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just weirded out that it just okay. really doesn't look let's that... Make, let's make you look really, really skinny, okay? It just... It's so weird how it doesn't look so bad. No. Yeah, and the thing is... You could already see that you have lines at the side, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not being warped. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to subtly edit your body into looking perfect. Um, different. Let's go with different. Um, some Instagram models would fake their body to look perfect. Which isn't a good thing because there's people like me out there who looks at it and gets really insecure. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine what it's like for like the younger generation. They're always like, ah, oh, I have to like not eat and stuff like that. Um, and then you could make your, okay, maybe this one's a little weird. But yeah, you could subtly make your face thinner or thicker. It's really how creepy how the background just really doesn't give it away. It's creepy, right? Yeah. So yeah, we will stick with this before, after. Before, after. it does, it's like... It looks normal, but it's, it's not. It's like if huge. you have, if you take a family photo and you have that one uncle who just isn't in a mood to be in the photo, and you're like, it's fine. What well, edit a smile on your later. Yeah, exactly. And then there's also this reshape, which this is probably what a lot of people use to modify their bodies. Like for example, this is not. I'm not saying anything about you. This is something I do to myself. If I have, if my forehead looks really big in a photo, I can subtly just. 
like put it down a little. See? That's... And it's not noticeable whatsoever. That's so <laughs> creepy. And then there's I mean, that's resize. Impressive. That's impressive, but also very creepy. Okay, this one can probably. This is like, um, this resize one. Oh, sh oh. Okay, this resize one. Let's say you want to make your nose smaller. Because I do have a big nose, but man. I didn't know what else to use it on your body, but see. <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> Like, Isn't it weird? Now I'm just wondering how many people out there use it and you just don't Everyone. know. And you just... I've never used it. Every female. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all of them. Okay. No, a lot. I'd say majority of um, people out there who are active on Instagram in terms of posting stuff in these and body images, I feel like... 90% of them use it. It's crazy how good phones are getting. Like, you don't even need Photoshop on a heavy duty no. computer. You just need a phone and an app. Yeah, there's even this one that's paint, and I could just like subtly paint your hair darker. Can you can you paint out my gray hairs? I have always, I'm just curious. I forget what I look like without the gray hairs. Well, right now, it doesn't completely get rid of your gray hairs. See? Because it's still um, reaching for that. It, it doesn't change it completely to the point that it's noticeable, but you you see the difference. Okay, that one's not the best because the, the background got colored, but I do see the Oh wait, the change. that's more so my um, way But if color. you were like to really put the time and effort and be precise, you yeah, could do a better exactly. job. Okay. So there you go, and there's a lot more features in it. I am not promoting changing who you are, but if you are someone who has a slight insecurity about, let's say, how their nose is aligned, or how like my really big nose, or how big their forehead is. And if you want to edit that, you could always use the Facetune app. That's just like James. An impressive piece of technology. Before, after. Before, after. That's still creepy. That's creepy, still right? Creepy. So there you go, guys. That is the Facetune app. You could use it if you want to. Have fun with it. Maybe not post the super edited photo of yourself, but you know, hey, you do you. And it's just like, you know, deep fakes, but very simple app on your pocket. Just something to be aware of that is so easily accessible. Yes, literally everyone I know has this. So. And for those of you who don't know, like, What's your, what's your opinion on this that you're just finding out about it? Yes, let us know in the comments below. We would love to read about it. Once again, I'm Carla. And I'm James. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and follow our social media pages. And check out our website as well. Bye!